This video identifies the equipment and materials used to roll off a wall. To begin, we'll highlight the variety of roller frame sizes available. The first is a 14-inch frame, which is useful when rolling a large wall, as this covers a wide area at once. The next is a 9-inch frame, which is the standard for the industry. Notice on these frames that there is a locking system that holds the roller cover on, instead of the old-fashioned cage type. These are state-of-the-art for roller systems and work much better than the old cage-style frames. Next, let's discuss the different roller covers available. Notice this first one is a 14-inch with a 3-8 snap for a wall with very little texture. Then there is a 14-inch with a half-inch snap for walls with a rougher texture. These 9-inch roller covers also have a 3-8 snap. Again, this is best for walls with very little texture. When using a 14-inch roller, you need a container to roll out of. This system works well because it has a wide tray and a deep well, so very little spillage occurs. The standard for the industry, however, is a 5-gallon bucket with a grid system. This system allows you to load the roller cover in the bucket, then knock the excess paint off on the grid. There are also a variety of roller poles available. This is a 4- to 8-foot extension pole with a pin lock, which only works with roller frames designed to attach to it, but which keeps the roller frame from slipping during use. This pole extends to a full 8 feet. Another standard pole is this 2- to 4-foot pole that has both the pin system and the screw-on tip to use with both types of roller frames. And lastly, these are brushes that would be used to cut in the walls.